All right, people. So um, I want to talk a little bit about the raw ratings, which are indicative, indicated of, I don't even know what the fuck word, which indicate, that's, that's a better way to say it, uh, which indicate that I've been right about this company being absolute shit. So the ratings used to be in like the threes, people, and now they're in the twos. They're in the low twos. It's not like they're just in the twos. They're in the low twos. In other words, they're in the shit. So the last episode of Raw here got a um, 2.03 rating, which is down from 2.28 rating the show did uh, last week, I believe it that was. Yep. So there you go, people. That, that, that's fucking great, you know. And they and they make the excuse, oh, it was the competition from the playoffs. I have news for you, people. That's called television. There's competition, you know, like. Not every week, but a lot of weeks, you know, Raw will have some competition, whether that be Monday Night Football, whether that be playoffs of hockey, basketball, whatever the fuck. So don't give me the excuse, oh, it was fucking rate, you know, it was fucking competition, because there's competition a lot of weeks. It's called television. The fact of the matter, you know, maybe it affected it a little bit, but the fact of the matter is consistently the Raw ratings have been in the low twos, which have been a, a complete... You know, the ratings have fall, fallen off a cliff. And I always say, don't look at the ratings short term. You know, don't nitpick and say, oh, you know, this week it was this, this week it was that. Look at look at the ratings over like a span of a few months or even a year. And then you could tell really, you know, that, that that's really indicative of, you know, how good the show is or how many people are, people are looking in. Don't fucking go week by week. That's kind of dumb. You know, look over like a span. So if you look over a span, you'll figure out that, again, the ratings have nosedived like a fucking plane at 30,000 feet the plane's now at fucking 5,000 feet it's not looking good for this for this company and and, and why is this happening why, why are the ra ratings nosediving it's because the creative team is so fucking dumb that they push people like Roman Reigns who I've been harping on as a failure I mean they've given every opportunity to him they put him in the main events it's obvious he can't cut a promo so they can't put him on the mic They've given up. They've given him everything. They made him beat everybody, pretty much. He always beats everybody up, uh, and, and look at what he's done for this company. He's the ratings are going down. You know, they, they talk about the new era. I don't see anything new about it because Roman Reigns is still the fucking champion. So fuck that new era bullshit. Don't try to pass that off as a new era when you still got fucking Roman Reigns beating everybody. And, and that's why. That's a big reason. It's Roman Reigns. What is why the company is going down down in the shit is Roman Reigns. You know, ever since they've really put him on, you know, given him a main event spot, the ratings have dropped. But it's not just Roman Reigns. It's not his fault, you know, because who put him there? Fucking Vince, Vince McMahon. So in the end, it's really his fault and the creative team's fault who creates fucking horrible ass gimmicks. You know, like the fucking shining stars who are fucking, who fucking debuted like a month ago. Now they're, they're, they're doing vignettes. That's just one fucking example of this company. doing. First off, that fucking gimmick is awful. They're fucking like travel agents for Puerto Rico. Come to Puerto Rico. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, they're, they're advertising for Puerto Rico as their fucking gimmick. What, what the fuck is that? You know, that's fucking great. They're, they're fucking bragging about how great Puerto Rico is when they're in a debt crisis right now. Why don't they talk about that? You know, come to fucking Puerto Rico where we have a massive fucking problem with debt. And then they fucking debut and they're like, okay, they're here. And then they disappear for a week or a month and now they're just doing fucking vignettes on television again. Who the fuck does vignettes after they fucking debut? This doesn't make any fucking... And, they have, and they're there at fucking Puerto Rico with this fucking... And they have a green screen in the background which looks so fucking corny. It's fucking ridiculous. That's just one example. There's numerous other things they do. Like they'll have like a fucking jobber beat the champion or beat a main eventer, and then th th this happens a lot in the divas division. And then that fucking jobber will go nowhere, and then that that will just devalue the worth of the champion and the and the, and the belt. Like they did it with Paige. Paige beat Charlotte, I believe it was this week on Raw six days ago. Or I'm shooting this video on Sunday. I don't know when I'm gonna upload it, but you know Paige beat. Uh, Charlotte, and and you know they're not gonna, going to do anything with Paige. I'll give you another example. Summer Rae beat Paige when Paige was actually, you know, n not a jobber like she is now. And then they, then they did nothing with Summer Rae. And I made a whole video on that, and it got very popular because Summer Rae fucking 
went ape shit about it and threw a hissy fit about it. I said, oh, these my haters. When I never said anything bad about Summer Rae in the video, I just said fucking shit about the creative team and how dumb as fuck they are. And I didn't say anything about Summer Rae, but being the dumbass she is, she fucking, oh, my hate, you know, I'm always going to have people who hate me, but I do this... Because I love... Fuck, shut up. Shut the fuck up. I never trashed you. But that, that's a side issue. I never trashed her, but she still fucking came after me. Whatever the fuck. So there you go, people. That's basically all I gotta say. You know, ratings are continuing to slide and go lower, which shows this company fucking sucks. And, um... You know, it shows they need to fucking change shit up. Like, stop pushing Roman Reigns. Stop pushing... You know, stop fucking having Cena act like a fucking nine-year-old who buries everybody. Push guys like Rollins properly, too. Don't fucking make him go out there every week and lose. Push up. So my phone fucked up there or some, something. But like I was saying, push guys people like, and that will get you higher ratings. Don't keep doing the same old shit, and don't try to act like you're doing something different by calling it the new era. Because I still see Roman Reigns as fucking champion, and him coming out there every week as your main event guy, as your kind of your face of your company, at least for right now, and getting fucking boots. So don't fucking try to call this a new era. And do fuck, actually do something new. Do something edgy. Do something that you wouldn't expect, that we wouldn't expect Vince McMahon to do. Push a Kevin Owens. Give him money in the bank and then have him be champion. So there you go, people. That's all I got to say about that. You know, Raw ratings are going down, which shows I'm kind of right. You know, people always tell me I'm ranting too much, but obviously I'm onto something because the ratings are going down and they are going into the toilet. So there you go, people.